Hi, I do not really know where to start with this video. I have so many things that I want to talk about as far as the realities of having prosthetic teeth. There's just, there's a lot. And I, I've been thinking about it. There's just been things that I have seen, posts and comments and video, and just a whole bunch of different things that have come up recently. And I just wanted to talk about this journey because it is not an easy one. And it's not a, it's not an impossible one, but it's not an easy one when we first start out on this journey. It's not easy, but it's not impossible. Eventually things even out. But when we are first starting out, all of us, when we are first starting out, there's just a lot of things that are going on. Dentists often, unless they wear dentures, do not know very much about the journey of wearing dentures. They may know how to make dentures or how to measure for dentures. And a lot of times they don't even know how to make dentures because dentists are not denturists. They're not prosthodontists, but they may know the basics, how to measure your mouth and how to make them fit and how to take notes to make somebody else make them fit. But they don't know what it's like to have to learn prosthetic teeth. They don't know what it feels like to learn the weight and bulk of what prosthetic teeth feel like. They don't know what it's like to have to learn how to eat again, to talk, to smile, all of those things, how to taste your food, how to adjust to your tongue, having all this space taken up and it makes your tongue feel claustrophobic. They don't know any of that because they don't wear dentures, so they don't know what it's like. They don't know a lot when it comes to adhesive. For many dentists, it's just a one size fits all. Here. Here's some polygrip. Maybe they have a deal with polygrip or with fix it, so they go here, use this. But that doesn't mean it's going to work. They just give it to you and then you may get frustrated if it doesn't work because this is what your dentist told you to use. But they don't know as much about dentures as if they wore dentures. So that can cause a lot of issues right there. Then all of the information that is out there while it is great, it can also have a negative impact. I didn't have information when I started wearing dentures. I started wearing dentures in January of 2007. There were no denture support groups. There's no TikTok, Instagram, or YouTube, no videos, nothing to watch, no support. There, were, there was no support for denture wearers. If you didn't know someone who wore dentures, you were on your own. And even if you did know somebody who wore dentures, it's probably very likely that you did not know that they wore dentures back then because we kept it to ourselves. Wearing dentures was very shameful. Not saying that a lot of people don't feel that same way now because a lot of people do, but especially if you were a young denture wearer 16 years ago, you didn't tell people that because it was embarrassing and it still is. This is something that needs to change. I am a huge advocate in normalizing wearing dentures. Young people have always been wearing dentures and they have always been hiding it. My best friend's mother started wearing dentures when she was 16. My best friend is almost 60. So her mom started wearing dentures a very, very long time ago. And a lot of people, wore dentures when they were in their 20s or 30s, but they didn't tell anyone. It has not just suddenly become a younger person thing. People just did not tell people that they wore dentures because it was embarrassing to admit, especially if you were younger, that you wore dentures. People expected elderly people to wear dentures, but not young people. And it's very, very important to me to normalize wearing dentures because Younger people are wearing dentures. I was 39, almost 40, when I started wearing dentures. I know people who are 18, in their 20s, in their 30s, in their 40s, who have dentures. And it's very important to normalize this because no one is alone. If you're 27 and you are getting dentures, you are not the only 27 year old that is getting dentures. And we're still in that hiding it phase, but we need to walk out of that denture closet and we need to own that we wear these because there's nothing to be ashamed of. How we get here does not matter. It's what we are doing to take care of ourselves that matters. And that's where everybody is. We are taking care of ourselves. But on this journey, there's just a lot. There's just so much information coming at us. Some of it is 
correct information. Some of it is information that works for person A, but will not work for person B. With adhesive, that's a, a works for person A, but may not work for person B situation. If person A has been wearing dentures for say 16 years, their gums are not shrinking, shrinking anymore and they're at that stage, their adhesive could hold forever. Mine does, I could probably get a two day, or probably more than two days with my top and probably close to 48 hours with my bottom. I will never test that theory. My dentures come out after 20, 22 hours or out for two to four hours every day. I do not wear my dentures for more than 20 or 22 hours unless an emergency pops up. I have had two moments in the last two years where I've worn my dentures for over 35 hours, but that's because I, well, around 35 hours because I was traveling and I had no way to take my dentures out. But as a rule, they come out once a day. So I've never worn them for multiple days, and I don't think that I would. I'm, after 35 hours, I'd figure out a way to take them out because I don't want to wear them for 48 or, or more hours. My bottom or my top would probably last for more than 48 hours. My bottom would probably last right around 48 hours. But that's because of me. I, my, my gums aren't shrinking, and I'm at that point, and my dentures fit very snugly. If someone is very new on this journey, they could use the same adhesive that I use, the same technique that I use, and maybe they'll only get an eight, 10 hour hold because their gums have shrunk. They don't have snug fitting dentures. There's a lot of different factors and they might not get the same experience than I get. And you know, you know, people hear about people who have a hold that lasts three or four days with their adhesive. And then they wonder why they're not getting such a long hold with their adhesive. But you can't compare your experience with someone else's experience. This is a very individual journey. So what's going on with one person is not necessarily how it's going to be for you. If somebody comes in and makes a post about how they're on days, like maybe day nine, we'll say day nine, with immediates, they don't use adhesive, and they just had a triple cheeseburger and onion rings. No problem. They ate it all easily. And you're still struggling with, you know, the softest food. You're, you're still trying to eat tuna fish. And here they are coming in and they're eating this meal that you would like to also eat. And they're maybe you're at two months into your journey. And they're here very new in their journey and they're doing just great with their immediates. You can't let that discourage you. You're not doing anything wrong. It's just different experiences. Or you may not even have started this journey yet and you see all these experiences of people who are struggling with how their dentures fit, how they look with their bottom dentures, and how they and people are saying comments all over the place about how bottoms will never fit. That is not true. When my dentures are in without adhesive and I, my bottom denture fits so snugly that I cannot even pop my bottom denture up with my tongue. No adhesive. I have a video that I, it's under, uh, I think it's under the adhesive um, part of my playlist, and it is bottom denture success story. I did not have adhesive on in that video. I could not pop my bottom denture up with my tongue. That's how well my bottom denture fits. So people do have success with bottom dentures. Not everyone but there are people who do have success with their bottom denture. But you may see all these negative stories and all of these struggles that people are having. And you haven't started your journey yet. You've just seen these struggles. And now it's causing you stress because you are afraid that you are going to have those struggles. You might. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to tell you that you're not going to struggle. You may struggle. But keeping bad teeth in your mouth because you're afraid of possibly struggling is not going to help you. Those bad teeth can cause infection and the infection in our mouths can make us very sick. It can even cause us to die. That is a truth. I'm not trying to scare anyone, but that is a very strong truth. The infections in our mouths can cause death. So keeping those bad teeth in your mouth is not gonna help you. So you you have to take a deep breath and do that next step for your health. And yeah, you know, you might, have some struggles. These are prosthetics. They are, you're gonna, it's gonna have ups and downs. If you had your leg amputated and got a prosthetic leg, you would expect 
struggles. You would expect ups and downs with learning how to stand, how to walk, how to do all of those things, balance yourself. It's the same way with prosthetic teeth. You have to learn how to do all those things all over again. And now it, it doesn't start out easy, but it doesn't stay hard. It's not impossible. At some point, it will get easier. If you're 39, I'll use the age I was when I started wearing dentures. If you're 39 and you live until, until you are 85, I'm kind of hoping to live until about 99. Actually, my goal is 100 and 100 years in one day. That's my goal, but say you live to be 89 or something like that. And you get your dentures when you're, that's 50 years. So that first year, those first nine to 12 months or nine to 18 months is just a tiny bit of time in the length of time that you are going to have dentures. So don't let that small amount of time impact what you are going to do with your health because it's just a small amount of time in that grand scheme. You know, even if you're 70 and you get dentures, you, you might have another 15, 20, 30 years left. That nine to 18 months is still a small window of time in that time. And you can't let that small window of time stop you from taking your health into your hands and making it better. The, it's, a, it's scary. The unknown is a very scary thing and it causes stress. But the reality of this journey is no one can tell you how your journey is going to be. It's all individual and whatever you go through is going to be what you go through. It's not going to be exactly the same as what I've gone through or as what someone else has gone, has gone through or what somebody is going to go through. All of our journeys are completely individual. We can give advice. We can tell people what we do, what works for us, but that doesn't mean that it's going to work for them. And, it, and you could read all the stuff that works for other people and that doesn't mean it's going to work for you because this is a very individual journey. I just kind of wanted to jump in and just let you know that wherever you are, it's completely normal. You're not doing anything wrong. If you're not doing as well as somebody else is at the same part of their journey or earlier on in their journey, it's just what's going on with your journey. And it's just the way that it is. It might be hard right now, but it's going to get better. When you get your perms, when your gums stop shrinking, when you get to that point where everything evens out, it will be easier for you. And you may never remember what it was like to have those struggles. You might be someone that people look at and they don't even guess that you wear dentures because you do it so effortlessly. So at some point you are going to be, everything's gonna even out and it's gonna be so much better. And then you're gonna look back and just be really proud of yourself for what you've accomplished because you pushed through all of those things. It does get better, it does get easier, it doesn't start out in the best spot, and it doesn't start out easy, but it will get better and it will get easier. And just know that you are doing the best that you can. You are, you are, you are rocking it, you are doing great. I know it might be a little rough right now, but it's gonna get better. And that's just the reality of prosthetic teeth. It starts out a little shaky, but that's how it is with any prosthetics. Nobody just puts, that, you know, it gets fitted for their prosthetic arm or their prosthetic leg and takes off doing everything that they did before they lost their limb. And that's how it is with prosthetic teeth. You're not going to do all the same things that you did before you got them, but eventually they will become your normal. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and go because this is kind of a little longer than I normally do on my videos, but I just wanted to just pop in and I just wanted to talk about this because it's been on my mind. I'm going to go ahead and go. I'll talk to you later. Bye.